am Wendy Tremaine. I'm one half of Holy Scrap Hot Springs, a homestead in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. And today I'm going to run you through uh, the making of biofuel very fast, very easy. And uh, we're starting off here with 70 grams of lye and a half gallon of methanol. And when mixed, which I'm about to do, we'll have methoxide. So my lye goes into my methanol. I'm just going to block, remove any clogs with this stick. Great. So I'm going to swish the lye into the methanol. And the reason I'm not just putting the cover on and shaking it is it's expanding and um, it'll expand inside here and bust the cap off. So I could put the cap on for like a minute and shake, but swishing is safer and you can hear the lye inside. Uh, I'm just gonna swish until it's mixed and I don't feel the lye scraping the edges of the container. Okay, so we're pretty well mixed. In case you haven't guessed, wear your dirtiest clothes. All your materials making biofuel are toxic, so we don't get them on this time. And here's three gallons of waste veggie oil. I'm gonna dump this right in. You'll see it change immediately. And this is filtered waste veggie oil. Lid on. Tight. Tight. <laughs> Tight reminds the cameraman. And then we shake. Ta da! this sit for about four days and uh, before I do I'm gonna just release any pressure cap off cap on okay we'll come back in 40 okay it's been three days since we mixed methanol and lye and made meth oxide and um, added it to waste veggie oil filtered waste veggie oil and now I'm just gonna pour it off um, what happened, you can see, is it's quite light and then at the bottom there's some darkness. I don't know if you can see that. The darkness is glycerin and that's the byproduct. So the chemical process took all the heaviness, gelatinousness out of the liquid and left us glycerin, which we're thinking about making logs out of. <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to pour off. By now, I'm sure you're wondering when the hard part is coming up, and um, there is no hard part. Maybe it's just hard picking this up and putting it in the car, huh? <laughs> so this is my biofuel, nice and clean. And our last step is to put it in my new Vida Beetle diesel. <sighs> so this is $10 of fuel. Cost me about two dollars and some time. Okay, that's your small scale biodiesel production lesson.